All right, let's look at number five. Number five here, you're given a semicircle. Um, it says the center is at O and it's gonna have a radius of R, right? So that means this is R, that's R, and this is also R, okay? Um, points PQR lies on the circumference of the circle such that PQ equal 2R. So this is 2R. And R, O, Q is theta, okay? Given the area of the two shaded regions are equal, show that theta equal two sine theta. Now, don't worry, let this bother you first. Go back and take a look at the two piece of information. It says the area of the two shaded regions are equal. So we're talking about this particular part here and that part over there. Okay. So this particular part here, if I call it like A1, well, A1 is a triangle. And the formula for triangle, it's half AB sine C, right? So here I have this two sides and I need this angle. So this is gonna equal to half R times R times sine of the angle, which is 180 degrees subtract whatever this angle is. 180 in radian would be pi, so pi minus theta. That would be the area of my A1. Uh, what about my A2? Well, A2, I hope you recognize this is the sector area subtract the triangle. So A2 is gonna to equal to the sector area, subtract the area of the triangle. Well, what's the formula of the sector area? It's half theta R square. What's the area of uh, the triangle? What's well, half AB sine C? So let's take a look. For this particular case, um, well, you're not really given the radius and that's just theta. So this is half theta R squared. There's nothing changed here. Here, half AB sine C is so two side lengths and the contained angle. So that's gonna be a half times R times R times sine theta, okay? So let me simplify a little bit. So this is gonna be half pi R squared minus half R squared sine theta. So if I can common factor out the half R square, this is gonna be theta minus sine theta. On the other side, if I simplify this, this is gonna be half R square sine theta minus theta. Okay, now the two areas must equal to each other. So we're gonna set them equal to each other. So a half R square, theta minus sine theta must equal to a half R square sine pi minus theta. Now you can tell that the half R squares are identical, so they can be canceled. Now you're left with theta, minus sine theta is equal to sine pi minus theta. Now here, you have to recognize a um, identity, or if you think about the cast rule, how for sine, by the a, for sine, the first two quadrants, they're gonna be equal. So sine theta and sine pi minus theta is gonna be identical to each other. So this can actually be written as sine theta as well. So now I bring the sine of theta over to the other side. Theta is equal to two sine theta, which is what you're asked to show.
Okay. Now, part B of the question is to solve for theta or x. I would probably use the graphing calculator here. So y1, you do x or y equal to x. y2, you do y equal to sine x. And you do um, points of intersection. So second trace, five, enter, enter, enter. That would give you the point of intersection. Again, you want to look at the graph. Um, I graphed it on decimals so that it's easier for you to see. Let me show you the graph here. So if you use TI 83 or 84, just make sure you change the window values. And then the graph, the two, actually standard would probably be fine. Okay. So using the graphing calculator, you should be getting the following. Let me zoom this in. Okay. Now, there are three points of intersection on your graph, but if you take a look at it, theta is an obtuse angle, right? So it's not going to be negative. It's not going to be zero. So x is equal to, round it off to three sig fig. It would be, or theta, in this case, theta, we don't have x, so we use the answer theta, is round off to three sig fig would be 1.90. Okay. So area of triangle, this piece is the sector area, subtract the area of the triangle, set it up with the formulas, make them equal to each other. Recognize that sine theta is equal to sine pi minus theta. And you can turn this into what they want you to show. And then using graphing calculator, find a point of intersection, which is 1.90.